going to be another Cushion First Impressions, and I'm going to be doing it on the Laneige Pore Control BB Cushion. Now, this is the new BB Cushion. They have had this out for a while, however, I have the new version that has the textured cushion which you can't see from here but I'll show you guys some close-ups anywho I'm going to be reviewing this for you guys this is not necessarily I might have said this is a first impressions but this is more of a review because I have been using this for quite some time now and I have experience with this okay so here's my face Vogue Vogue close-up so the shade that I'm going to be using is 23C. I'm personally about an NC2225 in MAC foundations, however, since it is summer. I've been saying this in a lot of my videos. I probably am closer to like an NC30 because I think I'm getting a little color. Also, keep in mind that a lot of times you guys will say that there's a discrepancy between <laughs> The, my body and my face, however, the lighting tends to cast a shadow onto my neck and body from my face because my face is close to the lighting. That's why, you guys, I put in the natural sunlight so you guys can see in both lightings. I feel like I have to say that in every video, but that's what's going on for that. Anyways, I have dry skin, so we're going to see how the pore control version works on my skin because obviously it's formulated more for oily skin. And yeah, so let's just jump in and start pull on this on my skin. So this is the texture cushion that I was telling you guys about, if you guys can see that. Now, when I was in Singapore and I was there for the launch of these cushions, they were explaining that the textured cushion is supposed to apply it more evenly onto the puff, therefore applying it more evenly onto your skin. So just pressing the puff into the pad. So I got a little guy right there that needs to be covered, some dark under eye circles. Um, around my nose is a little red, but for the most part, it looks like my got a little one here. My skin's doing pretty well. I just like to even it out with foundation. That's just my personal preference. There is a bit of a scent to this, just so you guys are aware. Now, personally, I actually would have not gotten the cool. That's what the C stands for in the shade, the 23C. The C stands for cool, and personally, I'm more of a warm tone. However, these were like um, the, not samples, but these were the products that they gave out at the event to the bloggers um, for reviewing purposes. So they happened to give me this shade and the other shade, 21. However, I still don't feel like this is that bad of a skin match for me. Now, as you can see, it is super blendable on my skin. It doesn't take that much effort to blend it out. It has about a medium coverage, maybe light to medium coverage. So you might have to use concealer with this if you have any areas that are troublesome for you. Now, like I said, my artificial lighting throws the shade off a bit. If this were a warm tone, this would actually fit like fit my skin tone very well, but since it's a cool tone, I think it's looking a little bit off on my skin. Also, this will oxidize very, very slightly to my skin, so you'll actually probably see it later in the day that this is going to be a better skin match for me. But I like how this applies. You can see that there's a very natural finish to it, a very light sheen. I appreciate that because it looks natural on my skin. It doesn't look so flat and one-dimensional, but also doesn't look so dewy that it starts to look oily. So I will go ahead and insert here close-ups of what my skin looks like in artificial lighting as well as natural sunlight. Also, in typical fashion with my reviews slash first impressions videos, I never apply a powder or use a primer or concealer because I like to see how the cushion wears on its own. So let's jump into the close-ups.
is the end of the day. I've had the Laneige Pore Control BB Cushion on my skin for about 10 hours now. I actually did quite a bit today. I did a lot of running around. I was out in the heat and it was about like 95 degrees Fahrenheit today so it was quite hot. And so I'm gonna show you guys what my skin looks like now that it is the end of the day. I have to say it has faded a bit but I'm still pretty happy with how it looks. I feel like it gives my skin like a healthy glow and my skin doesn't look oily, which is good. It just looks natural. My little pimple here popped out again, um, but this didn't start off with the highest coverage. Usually when I use this, I use it with a primer and a concealer and a powder and it works beautifully, but of course, since it is a review, I wanted to show you guys how it worked on its own. I will probably also include a clip of what it looks like with all that stuff in the beginning of the day and at the end of the day just so you guys can get a reference point for what it looks like with primer, powder, and a concealer. So like I said, I wanted to throw in a demo using this BB cushion, how I usually do with primer, concealer, and powder. So I just applied the BB cushion. Here is my concealer, which by the way, it's really hard to open with one hand. <laughs> Sorry for my shaky filming. But I applied the concealer and then I set basically just my under eye with concealer, but you can definitely set the whole face with concealer. So this is what it looked like immediately after application in natural sunlight. And then this next shot here is going to be what it looks like about three hours into wearing it. what it looks like about 12 and a half hours after wearing it so you can see my blush is still there my bronzer is still there some of my pimples have popped out but nothing a little touch-up couldn't fix on my dry skin I find that this is an oil control cushion and that doesn't dry my skin out completely or emphasize my dry patches I feel like this will work really well on oily skin people and if you don't have a lot of things to cover I feel like this would be good on its own however if you have like a lot of trouble areas I would say you probably need to use a powder and a concealer with this as well Given I've had this on for 10 hours, I think it looks pretty good. So, this is why this is one of my favorite affordable Korean cushion foundations. Here are the close-ups of what my skin looks like, and yeah. review of the Laneige BB Pore Control Cushion. I hope you guys enjoyed for those of you guys who are requesting it and definitely check out my website to check out the other swatch I have of the other shade and as always I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. I hope you're staying cool this hot summer and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!